The political tension between the government and the Bangkok Metropolitan has come out in the open again, highlighted by the big bag controversy. So, Kun Tun Satit, what exactly happened? Well, uh, to me, this is a, a Bangkok versus Bangkok uh, conflict. Actually, it's not quite about Bangkok Metropolitan Administration against the government. Right. Right. Uh, this is about uh, Bangkok uh, people who living beyond the big back barriers and the people who live within the big back barrier. Uh, as we as we know, the big back was uh, installed about a week ago. The, the completion was uh, done about a week ago, and then things start to improve a little in in the city, of course. City, right. And uh, and as they as they went by, people who live beyond the barrier start to suffer, and uh, things uh, started to blow up on Friday and on Saturday. What happened? When people see that the difference between the water inside and outside the barrier, uh, the, big, the, the difference is uh, very big, and they started to pull down some of the sandbags, some of the small ones. And the things uh, started to get worse because uh, one Pua Thai MP, Kun Karun Hosakun, he talked to protesters and he also was seen as leading the protest himself. And then we have this uh, uh, coordination problem between the FRC and the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, uh, which erupted yesterday when we saw the Bangkok governor complaining that he got a very, very late message from the FRC on uh, assignment for him to protect the Big Bang. So, what uh, are the opinions of the experts on the merits of the big bags? Well, the people, uh, uh, the experts seem to have divided opinion on this. Uh, you know, the team group, the right. uh, one of the independent uh, expert group, and the FROC, they seem to have the same opinion that the big bags are very really useful to slow down the Water. flood water into Bangkok and. Uh, it would uh, facilitate the future drainage of water. Right. This group uh, obviously advocate the installment of big bags in that area, north of Bangkok. But uh, we have also Dr. Sayeri, who's a very familiar figure on TV at the moment. He right. said he, he, he didn't seem to be a strong advocate of big bags because uh, he said that the water coming in uh, coming into the city should be allowed to flow naturally to accelerate the solution, to the end of the, this crisis. He, that, he doesn't want anything to disrupt the flow of the water. So to him, uh, without a big bag is better. So there are two versions. Two versions of uh, how the pros and cons of the big bags. And Dr. Sewi appears to be right in this. Uh, at least in uh, the, the opposition to the big bag uh, has been ex ex accelerating over the past two days, so Dr. Sari seemed to be right in this aspect. Right. Uh, the latest, um, it seems that the cooperations between um, Bangkok Metropolitan and the government is going quite well until the latest controversy. So, mm. is it possible that what exactly, what, the, what we are thinking is not exactly what is happening? Uh, well, of course, there have been conflicts between the government and the BMA, but to me, the, the latest controversy is about passing the hot potato. Right. To me, the BMA and the FROC, they are in agreement with the big bags. Right. They all love the big bags because to the BMA, it has helped ease the suffering of the Bangkok people, and that is good for the BMA. And also, it eased the, the pressure on the government also because uh, Prime Minister Ying Lak has been under criticism. And when the flood water in Bangkok started to recede a little bit, and that eased the pressure on her also. So both the government and the Bangkok ad administration, they love the big bags. But how to protect the big bags is another issue. Right. The, Bangkok, uh, uh, the Bangkok governor doesn't want to be seen as uh, someone who takes tough action um, against the people who don't like the big bang. <laughs> right. And also, the, the government may be feeling the same thing. The government doesn't want to be seen as uh, getting tough on the people. So it's about who should take tough actions against the people. 
uh, with the um, final chapter of this crisis coming so close, the cooperations between agencies could be uh, more crucial than ever before.